Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, The Closet Sim Racer. We are racing today around Barcelona. This is round one of the Grey Wolf A to Z League. And I will be racing with the Nissan GTR. And yeah, let's see how the race goes. Twelve. Okay. So we are starting off with qualifying. This is my first lap that I did, my first running lap. So let's see how I do. We're going to want to break right before the 100 meter board off to our left here. Using all the curb, turning in, going down to second. Short shifting to third, bringing it off to the left side of the track here, bringing it all the way in, letting it coast in, and move out to the outside. Okay, use all the curb here, brake hard right before that sign. Okay. Now, this has always been a hard breaking point for me. I always miss it. I, you'll see in the race, I miss it a couple times. Okay, and this was another hard corner. If you hit that curve a bit too hard, it throws you out, and if you don't get it enough, you, you just lose time. You let go of the gas a little bit here, and then right back on, using all the track. Okay, this is right before the 100 meter board. We brake hard. It's a hairpin to our left. Get on the throttle nice and early. This is all full throttle right here. Now when we shift down to second, double apex. Let the car coast out wide. Okay, brake right as you see the curb. Go down to second. Okay, turn in. Short shift second for the second apex. And then using this curb. Okay, and that was a lap. What did we get? At a 145.6. Yeah, so in practice, I was probably getting about 145.2s. So I still have some time left in there. Now we'll skip ahead to the final running lap of qualifying. This is my best lap that I got. Okay. I'm a slower car in front of me, so... so... Just like before, moving off to the left, braking right before the 100 meter board, bring it down to second. Get on the throttle nice and early. I have two laps to go. Okay. Downshift to third, let the car coast in a little bit, then give it gas. Moving out to the outside here. Yep. Braking right before the, the board. Holding this whole line tight. It needs to be tight. So, breaking point, don't really have one. It's all about feel. Look at that, I'm already three tenths up. Third gear, missed the apex. As you see at the top left, I'm lost. I lost a tenth in that corner. Okay, let go of the throttle. Okay, and I'll give it. Okay, it gained. About a tenth there. Okay. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of time left in this lap because I've made mistakes here and there. Okay, down to second, double apex. Drift out wide. Okay, turning in down to first. And short shift to second, and just give it full throttle all the way to the end. This is all full throttle. And there we are. Three and a half tenths up. So that was a 145.2. So yeah, it was pretty close to my practice runs. So I was pretty happy with that. And yeah, I was going to go for another run, but as you can see, that guy was right on the braking line. Because I used that whole curve to get on there. 
he messed with a couple people's laps, but it's all good. He he made a mistake. He apologized in the in Discord on the league. Who was? Yeah. In the pressing lineup for. Okay. I know. <sighs> and we're just going in for our in lap because we are. Like you on the curb. Soft. You go on the curb for breaking. Yeah. Or no, I think I make a mistake in a bit. I think that's what happened. I don't think I'm gonna improve. Yeah, yeah, this is what happened. I went out wide and validated the lap. Me neither. So I just parked the car, returned to garage, and there's no time left in qualifying, so now I gotta just wait for the race, and currently I'm in 13. I'm right ahead of you. <laughs> the guy in 14 is right there. His name's Sako. He's a good buddy of mine. So we joined this league together. He found it. And yeah, we are both GTR. We practice together and we, we see if we can try and beat each other. I'm just looking at my sectors. No, the last you came. I went so wide at the turn. Oh, god damn it. Well, I'm improving, but the last you came was horrible. Oh, you jerk. Oh, oh. Sako <laughs> jumped up to 10. I couldn't Jump get me. under 145, but I, I fucked up the last you came. He was. How much faster was he than I'm a 145.2. Yeah. 145.2, and he was. So it was about a tenth off. Tenth and a half off of each other. Yeah, it's a pit window thing. Yeah, yeah. just getting ready uh, for the race here, loading my setup, my make sure everything's PSS fine, make sure my fuel is good, my brakes, make I'm sure my tires are, tire I'm pressure are all good. Important one is to make I'm sure that your uh, fuel and strategy. 26. Set up tires really? are good as well, 26. so that when you go for your pit stop, for the you have the right front. tire pressures. Yeah. yeah, right front. 28. Yeah, uh, right rear. 27.8. And yeah, uh, I believe right now I am just telling Sako my pressures. But unfortunately, they don't work for him because his setup is different than mine. So we find that out pretty soon that no, I need to do it my pressures don't align with his pressures. Leaders on just in case. I okay. can you uh, do with, uh, to go till the race? Then we got our short little end of the lap formation uh, lap, and then it's a rolling start in GT3. Yeah, so are you on map one? Line up in yeah. double file okay. and wait for the lights to go green. I'm nervous. No crashes, please. Oh, we're not doing a full formation lap. Yeah, Sako and I made our own livery together, but his didn't load into this round, so what? he was, he was quite disappointed about that. <laughs> no! It was on! I, I'm, like, no, it, I'm it was for me too, but when I went to go join the server, it turned it off. Okay, change line up on the grid. Oh, man. Getting ready for a clean restart. Those are always the hardest. Yeah. Goal is to bring it as close to 70 as you can without being over it, otherwise you get, I believe, a drive through penalty. Okay, here we go. I'm taking it super carefully in T1. Just keeping it off to the left here, trying to stay out of trouble. I got, I got a good one. But got a nice slip trip in Staples. Breaking early, just being cautious. Oh my god. You never know. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me. And there's a little incident up there, and I didn't see it until last second, and I went right into the back of Sako. And I'm not totally sure, but I feel like this damage messed with me for the, the remainder of this stint. Car kind of felt a little twitchy and understeery, but it could also be in my head. Did you get, like, bad damage? Okay. Sorry. See how the race pans out. We are right behind Tholen. 
Hit a drive. What's that? Me and him have pretty good races around. It, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's light damage on the front. Good. Yeah. I tried to stop in time, but I couldn't. Oh, just stand in yeah. the slipstream. I knew you, you were tight. Like, and like you see that, that blinking? That was from the damage. I wasn't blinking, that was all from the damage of the lights. Oh! Car on the right. Clear on the right. There's, there's nothing I can do. He's, he's got the inside. Around this long right hander, so there's nothing I can do about that. He defends Why a little bit. Doing that? The Porsche is in front of me, behind you. And my goal is to get a really know. clean, good exit out of this corner, which I he's do. He's doing what? He's defending, and I'm not close to him. Really? And as you can yeah. see, the slipstream is like he, quite he's a strong. Line, and I wasn't close enough to him to even try. To I am him. gaining like yeah. crazy okay. on him. Oh yeah, look at this slipstream. Okay, breaking right at the hundred meter board. Just defending, going a little wide, but he he broke early, so it was all good. Oh, Left the door him. open. That was that was a little mistake. <laughs> Now my goal is to defend from him and try to catch up to Sako. Oh, another thing about this league I forgot to mention is each race is an hour long and every fourth race is an hour and a half. So it adds a little almost endurance element to it. It's just one mandatory pit stop, and all you have to do is change tires per race. Going super deep here, but he's got nothing with it. For track limits? And he's what? defending from the blast and back there. Warning two! From what? Okay. What? From straight line? Another good exit. What kept happening is because the Porsche is really good through the corners, but it's not so good on the straights. Is I would I would always take off on this straight, and then he would catch up every single lap. Whoa, 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 what the? Oh, I lost it there. Tried to really open up the corner, but it just didn't work. Car gave me a massive snap over steer for some reason. Is so it three in warnings this and you get clip, I show the entire yeah, first stint, right. and I believe I drive until the 40 I minute mark on careful. this stint. Because, yeah, I'm pretty much defending, or not defending, but there's always something going on this first stint. Yeah, I lost a little pace of Sako. He's, I believe, got better pace than me at this time. Whoa, already? Oh, 50 minutes. Oh, the Aston got close. Car on the right. One. Clear on the right. Oh. Yeah, no, I didn't really defend that one. He just kind of took it. <laughs> His pace was way stronger, clearly. It's already a second up the road. Yeah, he's got a 46-0 that lap, and I was a 48-0, so he's two seconds a lap faster at this point of the race. Going in deep, missed my braking. This is where I felt the damage was getting to me. My, it, it just The car felt slightly off. Struggling with my braking, I was struggling with my cornering. I'm not doing very good. Neither am I. 
I'm gonna fix my oh, poor Schmidt missed his breaking point. He almost went to the back of me. Wasn't sure if he's gonna die on that one, so my I had, PSI is I far like I wrong. It. So are mine. I think the temperature is a lot hotter than it was in practice. Yeah, I'm trying to adjust the new tires. These tires can last pretty long, so if we pit now, we could technically make it to the end. What is I went deep again. Running? Was that two laps in a row? I was so close to this leg. Now the Porsche is right beside me, but I got the inside line this time. Away. Back on lap two, it was reversed. Oh, so, as I learned, it doesn't it doesn't work. And there we are. Yeah, my tire pressures are giving me a little trouble in the rear. My my rears are a little hot. My goal should be twenty seven point three to so twenty seven point eight for tire pressures and I was I was too high, I was twenty eight. Like I'm really struggling. So I was trying to adjust those. Oh, I do remember at this point of the race thinking if I should be pitting or not because I know the tires can last 50 minutes. I just, I just wasn't sure. I think I'm gonna pit because I felt like the damage was giving me issues, but I, I could be wrong. But the damage is 12 seconds of damage. So if you see at the bottom left there under time required, a pit stop with just tire change is 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So anything more than that is the damage that you have on your vehicle. So it's a whole 12 seconds extra of damage. So it's 12 seconds longer I gotta be in the pits to get that fixed. So I felt like that was giving me problems, but this lap I got a 146 six it looks like I'm gonna get, so. It's not bad. Oh, oh sorry, 146.7. Oh yeah, the back ends just snapped out on me, I remember that. Best is 46.6. Okay, my best is a 46.7. Went wide into that turn. Okay, next time we finish this lap, I'll see what Sako's doing. I wanted to catch him, but my pace wasn't there. So I'm curious what he has. Oh, Porsche's coming up on me. He got a way better exit than me. And I've got the inside line. I break perfectly. I got my break point. Dead on. You can't really overtake in this last couple corners, too tight. to look at the time. 
Yeah, so Bolin is, he was about a second behind me, and now he's six tenths. So, yeah, he catches up fast in the corners. He's already four tenths. Five tenths, so he went a little wide. Oh, I went wide. Do I go defensive? I don't. Do I hold it around the outside? I'm looking at my pace strategy and the tire Almost didn't though. Oh, sorry, the tire pressures. I made that corner really tight for myself. I, even I used the same, the same one. Used the same ones. A little wide, but yeah, all good. Um, it, I think it's cooling down a bit. That was a good break. Okay. Not much gonna happen in this last sector. Not unless you're the last and that has just an insane amount of pace over me. But I don't know what temp what pressure should I use in pit? Well, if it says 20, what's your rear say? Wait. What does what say? Your rears. What, what, are, what PSI are they at right now? 28.4 and 28.3. Oh, you know what? Okay. We're using mm -hmm. different setups. Did I lose him, That's or is true. he gonna come back so at yours me? Yours are actually way harder than mine. Looks like he's having a little bat battle of his own with the bed. Yeah, I'm back struggling there. A, a lot. Mine are 28s up on the rear, and my friends are fine. I'm losing like so much time. People are getting it to me. Okay. Yeah, not Set much going on here, just sitting tight. I might keeping my 13th, not moving any closer to Saka. I've been about two and a half to three seconds behind him this whole time. So our pace might be quite similar at this point. This Porsche behind me, I get rid of him on the straight, but the second is through the corners, he's on my butt the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Behind you, you know that, right? Yeah, I oh, am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm being super slow. I'm frustrated. You and I have the same base. Your tires will last till the end if you pit now. You so see, you know. Yeah, I know. I just don't know what pressure should I use. Oh, you, whatever it's at. So if it's at 
let's say the 28.4. Get a lap down. Go to the left rear on the nine laps into this four. race. And bring it I down believe to it's that, like 27.7. Just over 30 laps. All you gotta do is count down. So bring it down seven notches. Holy butt. Car on the left. Clear on the left. I think this is the last lap before I hit. Because I even I even lost time on Sako here. Do you understand? But my when I put the you know the set use the same pressure, use the same tires. Yeah. It didn't it didn't save it. My numbers are random now right now. Are they? Yes. What do they add? Uh, front left 26, front right 27.3. Ooh, they are a bit off. I have yeah. no idea. I don't remember the tire pressure. That car's a bit hard, threw me out wide. You don't want to touch that curb. Now I went wide. Going in very deep. But it looks like Roland did as well. Gained on Sako a little bit. So this is going to be 148. Just gotta go with the one. He's right on my butt. Nothing you can do though. I have to fend it. Whoa. 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 Missed my braking. He missed his braking. Kicked my back end out though. That is the end of Thorn and I's battle. Now we are going to skip ahead here to the pits, I believe. Yes. So I'm going to go in. Not much that the Bentley could do. And Thorn was right behind the Bentley as well. I missed my breaking point a little bit for this, but the goal is to get that top arrow just barely covered. I covered it too much. See, they, they lift you, they drop you, and then they lift you if you get it wrong, and that adds like five seconds to your pit stop. So it's quite important to get it right. As you can see, I'm about to be lapped by first, and I believe second. Damn, the leader is going to lap me. The guy in first had crazy pace. It was 144.3. So he's doing two seconds faster than my best. And I'm not now with one lapping at my best right now. There. Are you going to the pits right now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, away we go. Well, I'm just leaving the pits right now. Stop going yeah. 30 seconds, not just a drive here. Oh yeah, Sako, he, he had a glitch with his pit. You got a penalty? Stop button. No, you. He didn't activate yeah. his pit limiter, and he sped in the pits and got stop go 30 seconds. So his race was kind of over because of that. I had to let Smith by. 
the rule in this league, let, let uh, pastor guys buy it when you're under blue flag. Do it within a corner or two. I'm pissed off. I really am. I don't blame you. I'm dead last. Well, a lot of people haven't hit yet. Yeah, but I this 30 seconds. This game can be more brutal with penalties, but than F1. But the F1's easier to get penalties. No, not much happens at all with this you stint. I was pretty point. much alone the whole time, just lapping yeah. alone. No one really in front of me. No one really behind me. So I'm gonna skip ahead. And this is going to be my final lap of the race. I got lapped twice by the leader, but that was literally all that happened. I, all I got was lapped. Oh, one last time we're going to turn one. Almost got to the 14th. Going a little wide. Couple more laps. <laughs> you almost got 14? Yeah, I already see, see the see top the left. My best was a 145.7. I believe it was a 146. Oh. Four last time, so <laughs> I do think the damage was affecting me a little bit. I couldn't catch the guy in 12. I, I lost my pace. It's only under four seconds. Okay. I was being super, like, damn, he made a mistake, I think. Oh, don't forget to leave a like. This is yeah, my first video, left. and I would really, really appreciate it. Pretty happy with that breaking point. Not good. Not a good exit. I cut that a little hard. That could have spun me. In practice, that spun me. I remember that. Oh, that sun is bright. Solon, as you can see up the road, he's in 12th. He passed me in the pit stops because I had an extra 12 seconds. He did and not. The line. And yeah, we're going to cross the line in 13th, which I believe is 8th in the AM category because this is split up in two categories Pro and AM. A very kind engineer saying I did and the top 10 get points just like an F1. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, I finished seventh. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and until I next time, 14th. yeah.